everyone, Pop here. In this video, I'd like to give you an update on the battery performance report I did several weeks ago. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Hi, Pop here. I'd like to invite you to join me in some of my adventures. Whether I'm out pedaling my e-bike or fishing from my kayak, or exploring the inner workings of a fishing reel or two, or even hearing about what I learn as I pile up the miles on my Rad Rover bike. Why, we might even get some old cars running again. All you have to do is hit the subscribe and like button so you can stop by for a visit anytime you like. I hope to see you soon. In the battery performance test that I did, I reported two findings. One was the amount of distance that I got from the single charge of the battery without trying to conserve any power. I just wrote it like I normally would. The second was, I reported on, the findings when the battery got down to about the 5 or 10 percent level and how the computer controlled the output of the battery from that point and what it did. This time I wanted to reproduce those results and I found something very consistent that I'd like to go into here, so I'll be right back. In this test of the Rad Rover 6's battery capacity, I changed one thing. I'm in better shape now and I'm pedaling primarily at pedal assist level 1. I was able to get the battery down below the 10% point to confirm what I saw in the, my previous report. And that is, when you get below 10%, the bar, the one remaining bar, will start to blink. When it does that, you only have pedal assist level 1. Oh, you can put it up to 2 or 3 or however high it'll go, but the output to the battery, as controlled by the computer, will only output pedal assist level 1 so that you can limp home. So at that level, here's what I was able to achieve. I got about 7 hours of runtime out of the battery without recharging it in between and over 80 miles. Interestingly, when I started to perform this report, I was already at the 80 or 90 percent level. I did not start with a full charge, unfortunately. So I think it's possible I could have gotten 100 miles on a single charge of the battery. But the important thing is, I think, that it's consistent the way the computer controls the output of the battery, regardless of how many miles you get. So I do hope you enjoyed this short video. I just wanted to give you an update on that first report from several weeks ago. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment.